everyone, Tally and Farrell here from Thought of It. When we're playing board games, we really love to immerse ourselves in whatever theme that game has and really get into the vibes. We previously done a video about our favourite board game and drinks pairing combinations and that's one way that we uh, get to fully immerse ourselves. But today we're going to be sharing with you our favourite Spotify playlist that we like to put on whilst we're playing a game to just elevate that immersion that extra bit exactly because i mean it's like if you listen to a movie without any kind of soundtrack it would not work at all <laughs> so why not do it with a uh, board game but so essentially we're just going to go through and we're going to list the games and maybe say a bit about them uh we're going to tell you the exact name of the playlist and who it's by and remember that we're just highlighting what we enjoy listening to mm -hmm. and the real credit should go to the people that made these playlists because a lot of them are very carefully cra crafted yeah. and impressive so they definitely get the credit and then we'll just maybe share an anecdote or two <laughs> yeah but yeah so let's just move through and begin and this is basically a playlist for all space games um, we use it when we play Eclipse, um, Twilight Imperium, Empires of the Void 2, and it is called Space Music, <laughs> which, I love that. yeah, very simple, it does what it says on the tin, and this is by a person called Brandon Feichner, and not like, but I think he might have composed them as well, mm, um, but either way, it is really ambient, it's really cool, and it's really nice to have on in the background. Um, yeah, some of them are more chill, some of them are a bit more dramatic, and it's always nice when the dramatic yeah. ones come on right before a big epic space battle. Yeah, and then a second playlist that I personally really enjoy is the Mass Effect soundtrack. And Mass Effect is a trilogy of video games, um, set in space, and I really enjoy it because it fits really well because it's very like space um beat boopy music <laughs> and it it just a lot of nostalgia for me as well but it you goes quite robotic. nicely yeah beat yeah. boopy is better though beat boopy <laughs> and so there's actually a mass effect um i think trilogy playlist by amy swank so you can check that one out as well yeah. and then next game moving on to the second one so the game is merv which is a Euro game set in the city or old city of Merv, um, which was basically a market trading town, which has just been described as the heart of the Silk Road. Yeah. And the playlist that we really love to listen to when we play Merv is called Arabian Chill, and it's by Medina. And Arabian Chill is actually a genre that has creeped into other areas of our lives, and we actually really enjoy the, the genre. Yeah outside of playing Merv and outside of playing board games. Yeah. On a recent holiday to Greece, it kind of became the soundtrack for everyone. We yeah. put on some Arabian chill when we were out on the terrace in the summer setting, we were having drinks. So actually really enjoy that type of music. Yeah. And so uh, it's just is really, it's a really great playlist. So it's a bit electro, it's very similar to uh, Ibiza chill, kind of deep house, or like sort of yeah, like deep Euro like house, but obviously Arabic. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of Arabic singing and music and production, yeah. and it is just a really nice chill playlist. It's yeah. really good. So yeah, this is one of the ones that we actually would put on just normally anyway, but mm -hmm. it goes really well with Merv, which is a very beautiful, colorful game. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. It uh, gives me nighttime market bazaar vibes. Yeah. And then moving on. So this is a bit of a cheap shot, but I'm definitely going to say it. So for War of the Rings, second edition, or really any Lord of the Rings games, you obviously have to use the Lord of the Rings official soundtrack, because why improve on perfection? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Farrell's a massive fan of Lord of the Rings anyway, so... I think, uh, I feel like you bought the War of the Rings so you could have the Lord of the Rings soundtrack on when we, when we play it. <laughs> Maybe. It was, it was also because I was like, what? Lord of the Rings board game? Yeah. Highly rated. Yeah. So that is... Uh, an obvious choice. Yeah. doesn't really need much explanation. Right. 
But then on to another personal favourite. Yeah, so this is for the game Root, which I think doesn't need too much explanation. It's a woodland warfare game, essentially. And the playlist that we really like to listen to when we play Root is called Root Board Game. Mm -hmm. Super original title. And that is by Cameron Lucas. And the songs on there are just very woodland jigs, jigs yeah. uh, fid fiddles, fiddles and flutes is how I would describe very upbeat. the music mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some of them are a bit more tense. Yeah. Um, but pretty much overall, yeah, upbeat woodland. I I want to I want to say twee, but that isn't exactly the right word. It's kind of some of them are kind of cutesy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's there's a couple of songs that we've taken from this playlist and put onto our own personal playlist. Yeah, the really journey, journey to Nova Scotia. Yeah. So it's just a really it does it really fits like quite well. It's very if you've read the Red Wall book series, which would obviously invoke Root, because uh, it's about woodland creatures fighting. Uh, it, it very much puts you in the mindset of that, which also Root does in a way, and it's just a really nice curated playlist that's obviously specifically yeah. for Root, yeah. and we really enjoy that. Yeah. So the next one is going a bit more serious. Well, I don't know if you can get more serious in warfare, but <laughs> gambling, um, or away from the fantasy realm of animal flying at least, uh, is, so we really enjoy the roll and write, flip and write, um, welcome to New Las Vegas, mm -hmm. which we did a review of, and also we've been playing a lot of Lords of Vegas recently, because uh, Kickstarter came in, which is an older game, but it's really fun and quite unique. And as both these are set in Vegas, we wanted some Vegas music, so we've been using a playlist called Las Vegas Playlist <laughs> by Tiffany McLeod Thompson. And this is just, yeah, like really classic, like show tune, Las Vegas, so Elvis, Elvis. Dean Martin. Yeah, Matt, showtime Matt. tunes. Yeah, swing. Yeah. So it's got all the classics in there. So that's, it's just a really nice like throwback playlist. Yeah. Fits really well, particularly with Las Vegas, because that's also set, I think, in the 50s. Mm -hmm. So it's just, yeah, 50s, 60s, so it's really... Yeah. It does really get you in the mood when Viva Las Vegas comes on. Exactly. Like, yeah, roll them dice. Yeah. Um... <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, there's not too much to say about that. It's it's Las Vegas. Yeah. And the next one's kind of similar as well. Some of the crossover tunes. Yeah, there are some crossover tunes. Um, so the game is Viticulture, which is a game about making wine, and it's set in Italy. I think specifically Tuscany. Um, and the playlist that we like to use with Viticulture is called Italian Cafe Vibes, and that is by username Dunny Dunium. 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 Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of, again, Frank Sinatra, Rat Pack tunes on there. Some Italian stuff. Some Italian songs. And some of those types of songs that have been translated into Italian as mm. well. Some more dramatic, maybe like Italian opera songs on there as well. But it's typically quite upbeat and yeah. just reminds you of sitting on a terrace, having a glass of wine. Aperol spritz. Having aperol spritz, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I want that. We... Usually you're playing a bit of culture with some wine like we were last night. It's been very hot in Copenhagen the last few days. So we were sat around last night with some nice cold wine, Italian cafe vibes playlist and a nice game of viticulture. Yeah. It goes really well. And um, you could sort of extrapolate this and play with vineyards as well since that's also about making wine. Not exactly because it's set in Portugal. Um, but Portugal that, cafe vibes. we need to find a Portugal cafe vibes playlist. Yeah, exactly. We'll yeah. do that next time. But the kind of vibe is invoked, I think. With yeah. Italian cafe yeah, vibes. but it's super. It it just all fits really well together because viticulture is at least for us. It's a very. It's almost like you know. I want to say family style game, but it's very like because we do viticulture Fridays where we play on Friday and we have wine, and that's what we were doing yesterday. Um, it's just this sense like you always have friends around and there's some snacks and tapas and like wine and it's very yeah. so the, the vibes fits really well it's just really nice coming together for us I think it's because it's the end of the working week as well and you can imagine like being in Italy 
like finish work and everyone sits outside, right? Nice after work drink and that's yeah. the vibe that we have when we play viticulture because we have this viticulture Fridays tradition mm-hmm. and that's what it's trying to um, encapsulate as well. Yeah. So next game is Endeavor Age of Sail or really any sailing game, any pirate game you can use for this. And this is just Sea Shanties by Spotify. Uh, Spotify playlist and yeah, it's just some classic sea shanties, yeet ho kind of songs. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> right, I thought that I just. I was think I was to trying to say I was trying to say yeet ho and I said yeet ho. <laughs> right, I was like I don't understand what that is. Yeah. I learned something new today. No, it just, just completely it completely went out <laughs> my brain. But um, yeah, so so it's just yeah, it's a pretty. You're sailing around, um, basically, I guess, I can't even remember what you're doing, really, picking up tokens that match things and playing. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's so this is really, yeah, for anything set at sea, and it's just some old sea shanties, anything, you know, like, uh, set a couple hundred years ago. Yeah. Well, a man is on there, which yeah. got a spike in popularity recently. Yeah, so... Because internet. And Drunken Sailor is your favourite. That's my absolute that makes favourite. You laugh. I love Drunken Sailor so much. Yeah. So yeah, so that's a pretty pretty simple one. And in a in a similar but um, different way, we come on to Pax Viking, which is it, it's the new Pax game, and you're all a different Viking leader of a clan, I guess, and. You've got a, a map of like the Viking world and you're kind of going around and trading and you're trying to complete conditions to win essentially. And it, it's a super interesting game. It's one that I wish that would actually play a lot more and we just it's kind of fall into the wayside, but I do really, really want to get it out mm-hmm. and play with a bunch of people. Yeah, and when we do, we can put on the playlist Viking Music in brackets Nordic Folk by Artem Shru, Shru yeah. SHR. Um, it's just, yeah. Ambient. Ambient. Ambient, Viking, Nordic folk, Viking music. Exactly. Sometimes, um, or when we played Pax Viking, we have also sometimes put on the Game of Thrones soundtrack, which yeah. fits kind of yeah. nicely as well. Yeah. So, moving, well, I was going to say moving away, but the Vikings did go here. Yeah. So, yeah. that's, that's it's a segue. a nice segue, yeah, exactly. So, the game game slash games actually um our isle of sky which is a bidding game by alexander pfister set on the isle of sky uh and also clans of caledonia also set in scotland you should also i mean it goes for any scottish game because i know glenmore chronicles 2 i think is very popular i see mm-hmm. people talking about that yeah so you can also extrapolate this to other scottish games absolutely and this isn't actually a playlist, it's a single song. Because it's important. It's very important. The most important thing you take away from this. <laughs> Listicle. Yeah, and I absolutely love this song. It's called Donald, Where's Your Trousers? Thank you, thank you. Um, and the reason why, I mean, we, we kind of started listening to this specifically for Isle of Sky because Donald, who's actually from the Isle of Sky, talks about the Isle of, Isle of Sky in the song. Mm just fits super nicely obviously with Isle of Sky, and Donald goes down to London and he's wearing his kilt and, and people are asking shenanigans him shenanigans ensue shenanigans ensue people are like Donald where's your trousers yeah. and he's like I don't care I'll wear my kilt <laughs> I love him um, so yeah it's specifically talking about the Isle of Sky goes with Isle yeah. of Sky for any other Scottish game is a recipe yeah check that song out it's by Andy Stewart by Andy Stewart so. yeah and you said it's also on a playlist. Oh, well, I saw it Scottish on a comp- if you search it on Spotify, it comes up with like yeah, Scottish hits compilation, twenty best, twenty greatest Scottish hits or something. So yeah. you could also probably check that out. We yeah. haven't yet, but we might mm, next time we play. But the is on there. Yeah, maybe I think it was more classic than that. Okay. But uh, yeah. So the next game is Twilight Struggle, which is the famous head-to-head Cold War card game. Um, and this is Soviet Union versus America, and there's actually some really good resources for this. There's a website called coldwarsoundtrack.com, and this is like has embedded YouTube videos, and it has all these sliders and stuff that you can mess around with, so you can say, 
things like I think last time I was there, it's like America's winning, so it plays more American songs on this like play this shuffle. Or if someone plays a China card, you can um, uh, press a button and it plays like a random Chinese song and stuff like this basically. Is it thing. created for? Yeah. The game. Cold War games, but also okay. it specifically says Twilight Struggle on there. Mm, so yeah, so it's a whole website dedicated to that. So that's pretty cool and you can play around with that. Or there's also, if you want something easier, there's a Twilight Struggle. Well, it's called Twilight Struggle slash Cold War. Um, and this is a playlist on Spotify by Tino. And it has some similar songs, I think, but it, it's got some kind of Russian songs, it's got some American songs, it's got some military songs from both. Um, and that's quite a nice playlist if you just want to put it on shuffle. And my final personal recommendation is to use the Red Alert soundtrack. And Red Alert was a series of video games about Soviet versus US, or sorry, allies. And it's absolutely incredible. It's a really great soundtrack. Uh, I might even just put that on chilling out. <laughs> and which one you use is probably down to your preference of which Red Alert you played the most, if you've played them, but I'd recommend number one. Uh, that would be mine, and Hell March is a really good song. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go on to the next one. Yeah, so the next one is a playlist for Great Western Trail, which is another Alexander Pfister game uh, set in the Wild West, where you're trying to get the best cows to sell off to market, essentially. So the playlist, one of the playlists we like, is called Spaghetti Western, and it's by Jakob Svensson. Um, another one is Great Western Trail board game soundtrack ambient yeah. by Justin Stokes. Long title there. Um, but one of them is, um, the first one is using songs from Wild West movies. Yeah. But a bit more dramatic, right? Yeah, well, I think they both do, but it's more that there is, um, you have uh, lyrics in the first yeah. one. Yeah, so, so it's you like get, main song sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like, like you have like Django in there, for example, like the theme song. So there's like, the other one is just ambient. Yeah. So it depends what you want, yeah. basically. So there might be recognisable songs in there, but it'd yeah. be more like the background yeah. score exactly. of the movies, yeah. But it just, it fits really well together. Um, super nice. Yeah. Both super like chill, like soundtracks just play well. Being yeah. in the Wild West. Yeah, and we also like to have a drink of bourbon. Yes. Time, to really exactly. get, get the vibe. Um, yeah, and then also similar but different, another Alexander Fister game, Maracaibo. And this is where you go around in a circle and you visit ports and you get a crew together and you kind of fight for different colonial powers. Um, and so you have this like kind of ship, pirate, Merchant. merchant type theme. Uh, so you could use the sea shanties one we said before, but we like, um, if you want some kind of chill out electronical music, we like a place called Tropical House, which is by Spotify. Um, and it's like, yeah, more, more poppy stuff, but it's like this kind of chill out, but with like this tropical vibe. Bit more um, upbeat. Yeah. So it's close to like Arabian chill, but like tropical and that's super nice. Um, if you want chill out, but if you want something really focused on the theme, there's a playlist we use called Pirate Ambient, Tabletop Mood Music. This is by user Javioka42. And that's very much what it says on the tin. It's pirate music, but it's all ambient. So uh, yeah, just kind of thematic. Not sure. um, well, sometimes tense as well. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, I, I mean, uh, less upbeat, less BPM. Yes, I mean, it, it's, it's like, yeah, like soundtrack, movie music kind of thing, video game music. So those are things you could use really for any pirate game, but we tend to put them on during Maracaibo. Yeah. So the next one is for Underwater Cities, um, which is a game that we don't play too often, but we really enjoy it when we do play it. And you're basically creating an underwater city for humanity to live in, creating kelp farms for us to eat mm -hmm. and creating tunnels between the cities and obviously the goal is to have the, the best city and get the most victory points and the playlist that we would recommend to listen to whilst playing underwater cities is the bioshock 2 soundtrack special edition yes you and get more songs you should explain that one yeah so underwater cities you're building underwater cities and the bioshock series of games or at least the first two 
are set in the underwater city of Rapture. So there you have your first link. And then it's also, it's, it's just a pretty nice soundtrack. <laughs> it's like more old timey music. Um, but so it, it's just pretty nice, chill, like, like kind of old school. Um, I'm not even sure. I think some of them might be early 1900s mm -hmm. um, music. But yeah, so it just it goes really well together, if, especially if you've you've played the the video games as well. So it's yeah. just a nice little soundtrack, I think. Yeah. Final so, one. Final one. So this is for we you well, you say we saved the best for last. In that, so this is for Gloomhaven or Gloomhaven Jaws of the Line, which I mean, so Gloomhaven is the best rated board game of all time. Board game geek, dungeon crawler. Very famous, so I probably don't have to explain too much. Yeah. Um, and Jaws of Lion is also in the top 10 now, and that's the prequel sequel. In that it came out after, but it's a prequel, and it's intended as a way to ease people in to Gloomhaven. It's kind of a starter campaign, and it's got, you know, tutorial over several campaigns. We've been playing that. It's quite nice. It was our first experience. Yeah. But the playlist is specially curated, I guess. And it's called Gloomhaven Soundtrack by uh, Matthias Niebergall. And this is, yeah, just, you know, made for Gloomhaven. It fits really well. It's very epic music, very dungeon crawlery. And I think there's a lot of the songs are taken from soundtracks. So it's a bit more ambient as well. Mm -hmm. it, it's, you've got like um, video game soundtracks like Diablo and other dungeon crawlers. You've got some movies, I think, in there. And we've had this on once or twice, and it's a super nice playlist. And obviously, specifically for, I think it's probably the most popular Gloomhaven playlist on Spotify. It's got a lot of followers. Yeah. But if you haven't heard of it, definitely check it out. It's really good. Um, and they've got some absolute bangers in there. Yeah, Cause, tell them about Yeah, so, because on Spotify, you can see what people are listening to. Which I didn't know, actually. And, yeah, and we, we were playing it, and my friend just sent me a screenshot of the song I was listening to. I was just like, mate, why is this absolute banger? Like, why is it so epic? What are you doing? <laughs> You're listening to so he's like, you at the gym. <laughs> like getting like pumped up for battle. But um but yeah, so it's also friend approved as well. It's got mm. some good songs. Knowing on nothing it. about the game, it's just a really banging playlist. Banging playlist. Well, yeah. Epic good. playlist, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So those are some of the things we listen to. And it would be really helpful for us. Um if you could let us know if you found this video helpful uh, or if you just didn't care at all, uh, just in case you might do in the future. But yeah, just, you know, um, was it helpful? Would you like to see it again or stuff like that? Yeah. And then obviously we would love to hear what you listen to, your recommendations. Yeah. For both the games that we've talked about, maybe there's some alternatives mm -hmm. we can try out. But yeah. also even games that we didn't mention here, just let us know what your yes. favourite pairings are. Yeah. And then also uh, would like to say a big thank you to all the people who created these playlists because that's the most important part and they're, some of them are obviously very carefully curated. Yeah. So it's really impressive and these are great, um, great playlists. And then also if you would, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, it would be really amazing for us. Uh, it means a lot to us. And just generally thank you for watching and we just hope it's helpful and that you go out and play some games <laughs> and they're now more immersive. That's the most important thing. Exactly. And we've actually reviewed a lot of these games. So we'll have links for the reviews down below. And also I think we said we'll put Spotify playlists down below if yeah. we can. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just do a bonus one quickly? Yeah. Brass Birmingham, Peaky Blinders soundtrack. Does it? Do you think it all fits though? Not necessarily all fits. You but just, but you just mean red right hand on repeat. Yeah. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I love it. It does, it does fit. I know it's not exactly the same time period, but it does encapsulate. When I think about, yeah, Red Right Hand and Peaky Blinders, it makes me think of Birmingham, and it's called Brass Birmingham. Sure. I think it's good enough. See, this is why you should stay for the credits, because you get bonus, <laughs> bonus uh, playlists. Yeah. Exactly. But thank you for watching, and please let us know.